Hey friends, welcome to this course introduction video. In this video, I want to share with you what this course is about and whether you should take it. So I've prepared a very simple outline to help me in this presentation. So firstly, why did I build this course? I want to share concepts that I've learned as a senior iOS engineer with six years of professional experience. So in this course, we're going to be covering those frameworks and concepts that a senior iOS engineer is expected to know and frameworks that are widely used in the industry today. All right, so that includes MVVM and uh, Combined Framework. And we'll learn how to write unit tests, UI tests, snapshot tests, as well as using Snapkit to create the views programmatically. Okay, so I want to align some teacher students expectations over here. This course is not for newbies and is designed for developers with at least three years of iOS experience. Okay, and because of that, I'll be speaking to you as though you have three years of iOS experience. So if you are a beginner, you might get lost in this course. Okay, so if you're a beginner, feel free to check out my other courses that are more designed for newbies. And this course is not an in-depth course on any particular framework, okay? This is more of a buffet, a taste of how all these parts come together uh, with a simple app. And of course, I'll be sharing my thought process when I'm building this uh, app itself. Okay, so let's look at the app that we'll be building together in this course step by step. So firstly, I wanted to illustrate all these principles and I came up with a tip calculator, uh, which has a very simple business logic. Okay, so maybe how I found this UI was actually via Dribbble. So I actually went to Dribbble and I type in tip calculator, okay, and I found an image that I like, which is this one over here. I thought it looks quite nice and I actually translated this into code. Uh, over here, you're going to learn how you can translate an image into an actual app. Okay, so I want to demonstrate how this app works. So if you are wondering what is a tip calculator, this is a calculator to calculate tip when you are visiting a restaurant. So for example, in the US, if you visit a restaurant, it's mandatory to pay a tip. So for example, if your bill costs you $100 and you decide that you want to give a 10% tip, uh, which makes the total tip uh, $10. Now, the total bill is 110 and if you have a friend with you, you might want to split this bill. And if I hit the plus button over here, it automatically calculates that each person has to pay $55, all right? So you have some business logic over here which helps us demonstrate this unit test. And I also want to show you a high-level code structure. So as you can see over here in my navigation, I'm going to expand everything so you kind of have an idea of what uh, we are going to be creating in this uh, uh, course. So I'm going to show you the more important things first, which is the view controller. So over here, I have only one view controller, which is the calculator VC. And notice that uh, over here, we import Snapkit as well as Combine. So notice over here that we have all the different views over here. So you see the logo view is this one. The result view is this one. The bill input view is this one. The tip input view is this and the split input view is this. So notice that these are all written very cleanly and very modular as opposed to some of the view controllers you have seen probably where it has a bunch of very complicated IB outlets. All right, so we're gonna learn how to do things very cleanly and very modularly, okay? And over here, we have the view model, which is the calculator VM, which helps to perform all our business logic. And uh, we are going to do some binding over here. So if I scroll down further, notice that I have an observe function which I bind the view controller with the view model. Okay, so let's come to the view model and just have a quick look. So in the view model, we have the input as well as the output. So the input is basically the events that are being sent over from the VC. And the output are the events that's being sent over to the VC from the VM. Okay, so we are also going to learn about dependency injection. That's why we have this uh, audio player service over here. Audio player service is a protocol. So you're going to learn also about protocol oriented programming. All right, so over here, this is where we perform the business logic. Okay, the transform method over here. Okay, so you, as you can see, you're going to learn a bunch of things over here, which is awesome. Okay, and over here, we have the unit test over here. So you're going to learn how to write and structure your code so that it's testable. So as you can see, we have several tests over here and we have all the different uh, scenarios. So you're gonna learn how to write them in a very structured manner, given, when, and then. Also, you're gonna learn about snapshot tests. So snapshot test is basically unit test for your views. So we're gonna test the logo view. We're gonna test the initial result when the, when the view controller is loaded. We're gonna test uh, the views when there are values inside. And finally, uh, you're gonna learn about UI tests as well. So over here, as you can see, uh, we have an, uh, an instance of the app. We launch the app 
and then we run through a couple of scenarios. So for example, we test what uh, the initial uh, default view should look like. It should contain all zero. And then uh, let's say if I double click on this, it resets the calculator. So as you can hear a sound as well, we are going to test the reset button. So for example, we enter the view, we select the tip, we select the increment button, and we double tap the logo button. We should expect all the fields to be resetted to zero. So we're going to test for that as well. All right, guys, I hope that this video is helpful. Let me finally come back to um, the readme file over here. Okay, so how are we gonna approach this? So let's assume we are given this epic task. We have to learn how are we going to break it down to smaller parts, okay? We will first start off by creating the UI or the individual components. And then we are going to define uh, strictly the private and public methods. And then we'll start to create the business logic uh, into the view model. And finally, we write the unit test, the UI test, as well as the snapshot test. All right, I think I've come to the end of the video and I hereby invite you to join this course. And I really believe that you will benefit greatly uh, from my sharing uh, once again. All right, guys, I hope to see you in the course. See you and bye.